I can see this like brass hinge on my door from here and the sun is shining on it from the window and then there's like the wooden door and I mean the beauty of this like brass hinge on this door it's just with the light shining it's just unreal I mean like how can you not I could just stare at that all day you know it's like how can you not be grateful for these things I mean I live a life of peace where I'm not being bombed or shot at or beat up and I can just look at this this brass hinge. It's probably not even brass, it's probably some cheap fucking knockoff. Well, no, it might be brass because it's an old building, but it's just like, oh my God, there's so much beauty in the world, so much fucking beauty. You know, that's, I, that's what smoking weed does to you, I think. But you know what's funny about me? I've never smoked weed. Most people don't believe that, but, because I can just appreciate things like a brass hinge naturally. I'll tell you more about that sometime, but you probably don't even believe me right now, but why would I lie to you? Why would I lie to you? Why would I lie to you, sweetie? You're the only girl in my life. Um, but no, that brass hinge, it's like, yeah, get to the point you can, uh, you can appreciate the small things. Priming, priming, prime your nervous system. Gratitude, the Tony Robbins priming exercise. Yeah, that's the one that's helped me to be more grateful because your brain I mean, the things you feel all the time, you, you, the synapses in your brain get developed. They get coated with protein, which causes electricity to conduct on them easier. So the more that you feel a feeling, the more you're prone to feeling a feeling. And you'll feel the feeling in your haptic nervous system in your body, but your brain is like the conduit for it. So the more that you feel a feeling, the more you, you will feel it. Um, so yeah, meditating on what you're grateful for every day and feeling the feeling in your body will prime your brain to make you to make you notice things like a brass door hinge. Uh, lock hinge is the only thing that comes close to rhyming with orange in English. <sighs> None other than, what is it, Monday, January 9th of 2023 AD. The time is approximately 9 a.m., the place you know where, and the temperature 24 degrees no, 23 degrees, getting up to 37 degrees at 3 p.m. It's going to be a bright, sunshiny day. Drawing our card. Oh. 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 Speaking of appreciating a lock hinge, it's the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Pence. See a woman with a motherfucking bird with a hood on it. Um, symbolic of the unconscious. Uh, she's in a garden with nine pentacles, nine gold coins growing there, and she's bedecked in bedazzled robes. She's all rich and shit and fancy. Um... No one ever asks how in this world, like, coins just grow on trees, but apparently they do in the tarot card, right or late tarot card world. Whatever, I'm not here to judge. This is about, um, you've achieved almost everything. You're almost a 10, uh, but you're at nine, so you're not quite there. It's about, uh, nines are associated with insight. This one particularly is associated with, because it's material realm, the pentacles, um, it's associated with like appreciating what you've achieved thus far. That's why it's funny we get it when I've been appreciating the lock hinge. Like this woman is grateful. Now this woman has like more than just a lock hinge to appreciate because she's richer than I am, but I have a lock hinge to appreciate the sun shining off of. So uh, she and I are the same at this moment because we're both being grateful. Appreciate what you've got and possibly splurge, possibly enjoy the moment, enjoy what you've reaped. Um, and you're almost there, but not quite. What you are there for is to grab a cup or a mug, a tankard, a chalice, a glass, a stein, a canteen flask, a bottle, a vessel of any kind, fill it with your favorite liquid. I like coffee. And join me now for the unparalleled pleasure, your dopamine hit of the day, the thing that makes everything better, the simultaneous sip. Go. Ah, and all the troubles just melt away. You know, just so we're clear, the simultaneous sip was not my own invention. It's Scott Adams. He does a daily podcast, and he does that. Okay, I stole it from him. But I didn't steal it, because I am paying homage to him. And you know it's true, because I used the French pronunciation of homage. Um, we need the funny face now for the uh, intro. What's the funny face going to be? Um, let's see, we'll do this. Um, okay, that's the, yeah. That's the one. Seriously though, the Tony Robbins priming, look it up. If you do that every day for like a month, you'll change your fucking life. I'm not kidding you. I know, I know it's, I know you, you want to believe that you are so in control of your thoughts and emotions with just your brain and your logical faculties, but you know, really our bodies, 
taking care of our bodies and our feelings and our haptic nervous system has much more of an effect on our lives than like just acting logically or logically understanding things. I don't know. When you know, you know. I'm not. I'm not trying to talk shit, but of course I'm trying to talk shit. I love talking shit. Okay, get out there or stay in there. It's gonna be a good one, as good as you make it. Cause remember, you're as happy as you think you are. Bye.